Okay, so uh, Saturday morning here going to the Lafayette Farm Toy Show here at the Crown Plaza near the Indianapolis Airport. So let's go in. Today is the day of the model farm display, so that's mostly what I come for to check those out. So the Lafayette Farm Toy Show is held every year uh, at the Crown Plaza by the Indianapolis International Airport. And uh, generally it's the first weekend in March every year. This year it fell on... Uh, March 8th, 9th, and 10th, so Friday, Saturday, and Sunday when they have it in uh, a couple of the trophies here. So uh, I'm here to see the farm displays today. There's three different classes. There's uh, youth, I think it's junior and adult, and then they also have um, a custom build for some of the toys and so forth, and there's a trophy for that. So uh, let's check them all out. So I'm going to walk around the show here today and uh, get a little video of the custom uh, Farm displays, the custom builds here, and some of the toy tractors. So lots of toy tractors here for sale, lots of different vendors and so forth. I didn't go to all the rooms and videotape everything, but uh, do have all the farm displays and all the custom builds here in the video uh, coming up for you. And first things first, let's see what we can run into. So uh, here at the 2019 Lafayette Farm Toy Show, and I'm here with my friend Jason, uh, Big Tractor Power, and hey, Tractor Times. So, anyways, uh, third year in a row here at this show. So. We're glad to have you up at the show. We've got um, over 10 model farm displays that you're videoing for your channel. And we'll yep. have them on Toy Tractor Times. And yeah. And it's a great time to see a lot of talented people building yeah. model farms. Absolutely. I checked them all out. Got them all on video on two different right. cameras. In case one camera lets me down, I got them on the backup. Sounds good. Alrighty. Thanks. Thanks. So this year at the show had a very nice here 1 16th scale farm display. I think this is the one that won the adult... Uh, trophy i wasn't here to see where the trophies went but i'm pretty sure i was told this was the winner here but uh anyways uh, a lot of these uh, custom farm displays you don't see them in 1 16th scale so this is uh, very detailed very nice very nice job here we'll just walk around and check it all out and i've said it before and i'll say it again i uh, would not want to be a judge at this because uh Everybody did a great job on these farm displays, and I would hate to have to make that decision to decide which one I liked the best, because uh, I thought everybody did a phenomenal job. Also, I filmed this video, uh, part of it with uh, GoPro Hero 7 on just a little uh, hand grip, and then I also had my GoPro Hero 6 on the Karma grip for stabilization and so forth. I thought I went pretty slow, and I was able to take everything in and didn't move the camera too fast, but as I'm editing this... I did see I uh, could have definitely done a better job. So I apologize for that. And uh, I guess I'm used to farming or filming farm equipment out in the field and uh, so forth. And uh, when I do something like this, I just need to slow it down. So I'm going to get uh, all 10 displays here in this video. But if you want more in depth of these displays, uh, go check out Toy Tractor Times here on YouTube. And uh, he did a real good job going around each display, talking to the person that built the display, and getting all the details. So again, check out Toy Tractor Times here on uh, YouTube, or a lot of good pictures on his uh, Instagram as well. So a uh, real nice uh, 164 scale farm display here, mostly uh, Case IH equipment, but uh, this guy did a great job. And I think I got this coming up later on in the video here, but they kind of mixed this, so some of the youth classes and and so forth. Uh, displays are all kind of mixed together, but uh, like I said, everyone just did a phenomenal job. I can't say enough about uh, the hard work that went into these displays, and I uh, hope someday uh, I build one of these. And this farm display right here, I did watch the video already on Toy Tractor Times. Uh, you can definitely check that out and get all the detail of what each machine is and so forth here. And uh, coming up here, look real close, there's a uh, semi up there and there's some girls out there washing that so uh like i say these guys that are doing this they don't miss a trick when you go inside the shop i mean they leave out nothing everything's here it's uh as detailed as it gets so this is actually their farm shop and that is part of the house or living quarters right there in the front which uh those kind of deals are becoming more popular on farms and so forth seeing some of those in my travels so there you go it's now on a farm display I guess you like New Holland. Yeah. 
So I'm going to walk around the show now, look at some of the farm toys and different toys for sale here, and we'll come back to some more of the farm displays later on in the video. So I had pretty good self-control here at the show. I only bought two items for my toy collection. I bought a Heston stack hand, the Model 30 Heston stack hand in 164 scale, and there's a new Heggy sprayer out with the application bar on it in 164 scale. I bought that, and I forgot to put that in the video. But uh, anyways, that was the two things I bought. I had recently uh, just got a hold of a couple of the new white 2105 tractors in uh, 164 scale as well. Them are in my collection now, but uh, there's a lot of things here I'd like to add. Uh, I just didn't, so uh, not this time. I'll just save my money for now and pick the items up I want later. And since I mostly collect uh, 164 scale, here's an item I'd like to add to my collection, that John Deere Swather. Uh, that's new for this year, so I'll pick that up later somewhere. But uh, anyways, they just got everything here. This is just... Uh, a uh, great show to go to and see all the different toy tractors, custom builds, uh, all scales, and everything. It's all right here. And here's a pretty nice selection of Alice Chalmers toys. Got about everything right here from uh, back in the day. And uh, also coming up here, uh, these uh, sunflower discs. I'm not sure who's making them, if that's an individual doing that on his own. That was pretty neat. And of course, the Versatile and the Eco Star here. Uh, just a bunch of awesome stuff. That's all I can say. And coming up here, this uh, Gale 116th scale forage harvester that they built for the Wisconsin Farm Show. Uh, a couple years ago, you could pre-order one, um, pick it up at the farm show, or have it sent to you right here. And uh, these are getting hard to come by, so I think they got about $190 on there, if I can see right. But uh, anyways, also would like to add this to my collection, even though I don't collect 1 16th. That uh, uh, 1 16th scale uh, disc mower conditioner, self-propelled, is pretty awesome. And here's uh, another cool area with some versatile, some whites, olivers, and uh, all the good stuff. And I do not have that white combine, but that uh, Spirit of Oliver right up there. Uh, I did buy that back when that was new. I think that was 1988 or so. Don't hold me to it, but it was somewhere back there. And uh, back to the farm displays here. So uh, this young man, 
uh, come over and got me. I did film this uh, display earlier. He wasn't there, so he wanted to uh, lift the sheds up there, the Quonset huts, and uh, show me that he had a Versatile in the one. So good for him. So here is something new, and this is where I got my Heston stack hand. Uh, Matson Miniature Farms. Check out their website. I think it's Matson, M-A-T-S-E-N, miniaturefarms.com. And I mean, they got everything here. All custom build. Uh, some of this stuff's a little pricey, but uh, just look right there. There's a 164 scale Gale Forage Harvester, Manura Tankers. I mean, they got everything. Uh, just check out their website. You could spend a lot of time on that website. I just discovered this place like uh, maybe six weeks ago or so and uh, heard that, uh, got word of it through a friend. And uh, anyways, like I said, got the Heston uh, stack hand through them, but they just got everything. And uh, when I go to build my farm display, looks like I'm probably gonna be getting a lot of my stuff from him. So here is a very awesome display by Chris Steeb, uh, who I met a few years ago. Uh, you can check him out on Instagram under Red Sands, uh, Oklahoma. Um, he just did another very detailed farm display here on some uh, native land out of Oklahoma. And this guy does not miss any detail at all here. So we're just going to walk around here and uh, check this all out and uh, looks like uh, they're just getting a new Deutsch tractor that was just repainted and overhauled delivered here to this farm but uh, anyways this guy just is uh, top notch when it comes to this kind of stuff even growing some hemp there under the uh, glass or the greenhouse so anyways uh, just a great display by Chris he's uh, one of these days he says when he gets time he's gonna custom build me some uh, versatile stuff uh, that I'd like to have but uh, anyways I'm still waiting for that but uh, I think he's working on something big here for uh, when he can come back to the national show so when you win a uh, display at the national show you have to set out two years and he won uh, what a year or so ago so he's got to set out and I think he's working on his next big display for that but anyways uh, like I said he just does a great job and he even pulled the gleaner combine out of the shed there for us to look at So on this display here, uh, obviously Alice Chalmers, Eggco Alice fans here, uh, was a uh, display of uh, mowing and uh, raking and baling some hay. And you can see the one tractor there uh, mowing got stuck, so they unhooked the Vermeer round baler right there and uh, brought the 8070 over to try to pull the mowing tractor out. Uh -huh. 
No one ever has to take it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just, I told you. Just, I haven't seen how I've been home. Just at home, I don't know. What are they even saying? You know? <laughs> So I spent about two hours at the show total, uh, just walking around looking at the displays, toy tractors, talking to some people I knew and so forth. So uh, that's going to pretty well wrap up this video. So uh, definitely thanks for watching. As I'm editing this, we are maybe a month away from being in the fields uh, here in the Midwest. I don't know, there's still uh, a lot of snow to melt and uh, a lot of drying left to do. But uh, anyways, uh, thanks for watching this. Uh, maybe one of these days I can put a video together of my toy tractor collection. We'll see how that goes. Thanks for watching, everybody.